And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get zero ping in Fortnite chapter three, or at least the lowest amount of ping you can get possibly in your region, guys. Because if I'm honest, your region plays such a huge role into how low your ping actually is, but there are some huge improvements you can do personally on your Windows PC and here in Fortnite to reduce it to the bare minimum your region can offer. So therefore, guys, if you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, before we actually get into all the Windows tweaks, I just want to show you that there's actually so much stuff which you can already change here in the actual Fortnite settings themselves, which so many people don't know about, but please just take a look here guys, especially stuff like player surveys, you know, stuff like these, these small services which are always connected to the Epic Games servers, always causing like a data transfer, which will also increase your ping potentially. Just please make sure to turn them all off, so therefore just copy all my settings here one by one, just to make sure that all these small services are cancelled in the background, you know, that we don't get like these notifications and stuff like that these pop-ups you know they all have like their own small data transfer to the epic game server so therefore guys just please make sure to copy all my settings here one by one and you should be chilling 100% you may actually already see a huge improvement in terms of your ping and if you just actually go here to the game settings itself I already mentioned this so often guys please put it directly to your region don't put it to auto because auto might actually give you a server which is more stable but further away which will of course result in higher ping so therefore just put it exactly on your region guys for me it's Europe so I'm gonna put it in Europe and we're chilling here 100%. Just simply make sure to copy all of my settings guys and let's continue with the next step. And especially with the new Fortnite season in chapter 3, so many people have been experiencing some hyping guys and I got a super easy fix for that. Because I'm going to show you how to flush your DNS server and it's super super easy. What you guys only have to do is go into the description of this video where I'm gonna put all these comments here and what you need to know in the first place is going to your Windows search bar, just simply type in CMD and open up the comment prompt as an administrator. Super important guys, otherwise this won't work or you won't have like enough administration rights to do this properly on your Windows PC. And what you can see in the first place is that we have a flash DNS command, which we're gonna just simply copy and put in here and it should say right now here, Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. This means pretty much that all the cached files which are on your PC right now, somehow linked to your DNS are getting completely deleted. So therefore you're just gonna have like a fresh PC, you know, like a fresh reset there. So what are we gonna do now is comment the second one and register a new DNS. Super easy guys, just simply post it in there again and you can see Windows IP configuration. Registration of the DNS resources records for all adapters on this computer has been initiated. Any errors will be reported in the Windows event viewer in 15 minutes. So therefore, yeah, you can see it also worked 100%. What are we going to do now are some extra steps just to make sure that everything is fully refreshed. IP configuration release. Yeah, as mentioned guys, I probably have to blur everything out here, but it should give you a new renewed IP address. And what you want to do in the last step is just simply go here onto Netch Winstock and just simply copy that, put it in there as well. So guys, and once we put in all of these comments here properly, guys, we first of all flushed our DNS, then we registered a new one, got a new IP address, and therefore many problems should be already solved, especially if you have like packet loss, which appears frequently or just simply hyping in creative arena whatsoever this should fix it in the first place and I'm just gonna show you some new steps as well how to improve your internet speed even more and yeah guys in this next step I'm actually going to show you now how to configure a network adapter for the least amount of latency and this is super super easy guys I already prepared here a full-on list for you guys with all these settings which are the best and what I want you to do in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in network until you see view network connections just simply open up that window, click here back onto network and internet, then you're gonna go into network and sharing center, and there you should see now your connection. It doesn't literally matter guys if you're using ethernet or wireless connection, it should just tell you guys your internet and connections, then you see here for me, I'm using actually DLAN, so therefore I've got an ethernet connection, I'm gonna open it up, then I'm gonna go into properties guys, and there you can see here now my driver, you know, Realtek Gaming GB family controller, Click here onto configure and then you can see now that we have some more advanced options here guys where we can pretty much make sure to put in the best settings and yeah since mine is on german it's a little bit harder here guys so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to open here this list uh, what we can see here rap offload disabled ecma disabled energy efficiency ethernet super important disabled guys flow control disabled interrupt moderation disabled ip4 checksum offload disabled jumbo frame disabled Next up, maximum number of RSS queues. This pretty much only depends on your CPU power, you know, how many cores you have on your CPU. If you have more than four, you gotta put in four RSS. And if you have two cores on your PC, guys, you're gonna select two RSS, and therefore, yeah, you're pretty much here on the safe side. 
network address not present, NS offload disabled, receive buffers 1024, receive site scaling enabled, shutdown wake up disabled, speed and duplex select the highest megabytes available guys you know uh, most of the people are gonna have like something around 100 megabytes so therefore just simply put it on that you know. Um, SWOI disabled, TCP checksum offload disabled, transmit buffers 1024, wake up on magic packet disabled and wake up on pattern match disabled as well. And yeah guys once you applied everything successfully you're just gonna click here onto OK real quick and everything is saved and therefore we're already chilling here and done with this step. And what I also want to talk about is guys that so many people out there actually don't utilize the right ethernet cable. You know guys I'm not even using myself straight up LAN, I'm using DLAN which works pretty much much over your power supply so you have like a LAN port in your room if the router is like too far away and I gotta say I see way too many people who use like a CAT5 or CAT6 cable which is not even capable of providing you guys with the full internet speed you have. Let me just explain it real quick guys I'm gonna put it right now here on screen you can see that there are actually different types of LAN cables not every LAN cable is the same and especially those cheaper ones can't even provide you with maximum speed guys so therefore what I would recommend you is just simply go on Amazon and search for a CAT8 cable which is gonna provide you with literally the highest speed and these cost like 10 12 dollars guys and you're just gonna make sure that you can actually utilize 100% of your network speed because even some friends of mine they have like really good internet something like 500 megabytes per second and they're utilizing a cat 6 cable so therefore he's only getting to utilize one fifth of his overall network speed which is crazy I mean he's literally only using 20% of the network speed I mean if you have something like that guys you're just missing out on so much network speed and of course this is also gonna cause in higher pain guys and worse connection connection because you're only utilizing one fifth of your network speed. So therefore guys cat 8 cables just make sure to get one of these here because those are the cables with the fastest speed and the least amount of latency and it makes a huge difference in my opinion guys. I'm just gonna leave a link to one in the description if you want to check it out yourself and with that said we're pretty much done here. And I just want to mention guys that I'm going to draw a winner for the Echo 3061 as Neon tomorrow which is gonna be probably in a live stream. I don't know yet if I'm gonna roll it here on YouTube or actually on Twitter over there because the last keyboard we just gave away like four or five days ago. I just straight up rolled it on Twitter so I can also show you guys proof and everything you know what I'm saying and if you want to get your hands on this amazing 60% keyboard which looks super super dope. I mean you can see it right now in the background. Just make sure to subscribe here on YouTube, comment down below where you want to win it and also also follow me on Twitter it's super super easy guys I'm gonna leave my Twitter in the description all you guys have to do is just simply follow me there you know leave a comment here why you actually want to win so I got a comment which I can actually put in the comment pick bot and yeah with that said we're pretty much done here and I mean it's just a nice free keyboard I mean why shouldn't you enter and just try it out you know what I'm saying boys and with that said we're done here and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said, have a great day, have a great night, whatever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, ho, come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee, come take a die. Kill that shit, but just don't kill the vibe. Yeah, we the ones they talking about.